Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, we are redecorating my IKEA shelving unit. It is Wednesday, June 15th when I'm filming this video. I quick hopped out of the shower, air dried my hair while eating lunch on the back patio in the sun so that I could quickly get to filming this video. I am hoping to upload it by today. So I'm filming this on the 15th. Hopefully you guys will be seeing this on the 15th. I wanted to get this video up for you after putting a poll on my community tab to just ask you guys what you want to see more of. I know I've been posting a lot of hauls lately, so we're going to finally do some decorating. And I have been scrolling through Pinterest and kind of looking at my collection of decor that I've been thrifting, antiquing, things from Target, Hobby Lobby over the past couple of months. And on Pinterest, I saw someone decorating shelving in like a potting shed kind of vibe for summer. So I thought that would be so perfect for today's video with summer vibes. It's June, so we're gonna make this IKEA shelving unit kind of look like potting shed vibes. Hopefully it works out the way that I'm envisioning it in my head. I will definitely be linking the shelving unit for you down below. It is from Ikea. I did have to pick it up, assembled it myself. It wasn't too terrible to put together. It was around a thousand dollars, but I kind of wanted this like built-in shelving look in my home, especially because we have such a huge wall that was empty and this is the room right off of our living room. So I think that Ikea has some really great shelving options for a pretty affordable price. I don't love that it's not like real wood, but it will do for now. It is beautiful and like I said, super easy to put together. So if you're looking for like some open shelving concepts or like that built-in style, check out Ikea. They do have some very pretty furniture pieces at an affordable price. So like I said, I've been collecting some decor over the last couple of months. I have everything laid out, hidden behind the camera. Everything looks so clean. Behind the camera is like a bomb went off. So I do leave my wicker baskets down at the bottom for some storage, so they will stay, but we are gonna get to decorating this whole area and the top shelf, I hope that I have enough decor collected so that I can curate like a beautiful potting shed vibe. So let's see how this goes. We're gonna do like very laid back style. I'm not gonna film this and do a voiceover after. I will just chat with you guys while I decorate. Very laid back chill kind of summer day. <laughs> so there are a couple new things that I haven't shared with you that I've honestly had for like a couple weeks to a month. There were some Facebook marketplace finds. So um, I actually got quite a few things from one lady. She has like um, this Facebook page with a bunch of farmhouse primitive finds. So I purchased a couple things off of her. So I'll share them with you as well. One of them, is this amazing sign. It says hardware, mercantile, dry goods, notions, and feed. And this fits perfectly on this top shelf. So we're gonna start with this. And I feel like this really will like set the vibe that I'm going for with like the potting shed type of style, like really rustic. So feel like I love that so much. <laughs> and of course, if I can link anything down below, I will. And then at the end, I will go over where everything is from. Even if it's a thrift store find, I'll point it out. But there are some things that are not from thrift stores. So I will share everything I can with you at the end of the video.
do have another row of books that I want to display. I think because I have a row here, I kind of want to put one more like angled. So I think I'll put my other stack of books right about here. thrifted these quite a while ago. They still actually have the stickers on the bottom from the Goodwill. I painted them a gray, but to me they look a little bit purple. So eventually I will repaint these. I think I'm going to do them like a pretty tan color, but they will do for now. So I'm going to stick them back up on my shelving. <music> as I love decorating, I do find open shelving like this to be really hard to decorate. So one thing I recommend is trying to do larger pieces and then add in smaller pieces here and there. Fill up shelving with books, bigger pots, um, just like larger statement pieces and then you can fill in with the smaller ones. But I struggle with shelf styling just as much as maybe you do and that's why you're coming to this video to maybe get some inspiration but just know that it really is hard to like curate a collection of pieces that all kind of cohesively go together it's hard so I struggle too if that makes you feel better <laughs> so there were a couple pieces that I picked up that really inspired me for the vibe of this shelving unit. And these were two of them. Um, I got them at Tractor Supply Company. As strange as that is, they had some really beautiful summer decor this season. And I think these are so beautiful. They really go with that like potting shed, like outdoor vibe. So I got this one that says seeds. The hardware is to die for. The writing is beautiful. And then this one matches it. It just has like a wooden lid, but same lettering opens at the top. These were really an inspiration for the style of this shelving unit and I thought they were so beautiful. I will try to link them down below if I can.
I have this beautiful pot from Target that I haven't really found a space for, but I'm thinking um, it will fit on this shelf. I think it'll look good because of all of the smaller pots to have a larger statement piece behind the glass here. And then now I'm thinking I have this little, I don't know what this is, but I find them at antique stores for like two bucks. It's like this rusty like ovenware piece. It almost looks like something you would put in a toaster or an oven or something. But I think I'm gonna put this under the pot on this shelf. If it fits. I got this amazing basket off the of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I got it from a lady that also sold me that sign. I have a, quite a few things that I picked up from her, but I got this adorable basket with like scalloped wire details and you can either put the handles in or out. And I have some leftover terracotta pots, so I think I'm gonna stack them in here and leave the handles open like this. I don't know if this will fit here. Oh yes. And I think having wire here and wire here will kind of complement each other. Yeah, I like that. Let's try to put some terracotta pots in here. Cute. Oh, I love that. Love, love. So cute. Let's work on some other shelves. This is a Kirkland's find that I'm finally getting around to styling. It's just this really pretty wood riser. So I think I'll put that right about here. And then I purchased this like big, chunky, really pretty gray book from an antique store. I think I got this for like $3. I loved the color of the binding. So that's what made me buy it. And I'm also a nurse. So handbook of institutional pharmacy practice, maybe in my free time, <laughs> I'll read this. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Um, but thought it was funny that I liked the color of it and it kind of went with something that I do in life. So we're gonna flip this upside down and I'm just gonna lay this on top of the riser. And I think that'll kind of tie in the books on the shelf beneath it. Let me unfold these pages. Okay, and then I have these other pieces that I kind of put all together on my table back here. And I'm like, yes, this is going to tie in this potting shed vibe so perfectly. I have this basket that I just shared in my last video. It was from the Goodwill for I think like $3. I was going to spray paint it, but I'm going to leave it. I love it as is. And I am going to use this to hold like my old scissors, some brushes. I think it'll just look so cute. So I already kind of like put them all in the basket and looked at it. This is good. This is gonna be good, okay? So we're gonna put her here. She fits in perfectly. She almost looks like little flower petals. So chef's kiss. So these are all of the items that I'm going to be putting in the basket. I actually got these from an antique store years ago. They've been sitting on my laundry room shelves. They're old clothes pins just wrapped in like twine. I love them. So I thought they would look cute in here. And then I shared this in my video last week. I got this brush for like 80 cents at an antique store. I shared this one in my video the other day as well. This was just like an old brush. I got these old scissors 
and then these I got from the same woman on Facebook Marketplace with this sign and the basket. Um, these she said she got at an estate sale from her neighbor or someone. They were like, I don't even know who they were, like an iron worker or something. I don't know. She was so excited to like chat with me about all of this stuff, but um, she sold these to me. These are huge and you can tell they're like, I think someone must have made these. I don't know, but they're cool and they're gonna look really cool styled with this type of design that I'm going for. Also have this amazing brush as well someone commented saying it was a wallpaper brush I'm just gonna lay that on the side here so that I can really be seen in all its glory <laughs> touch for this amazing shelf I think this is my favorite shelf so far is this gorgeous twine on this like old wooden spool I shared this in a recent antique haul as well so I'm just gonna plop this right on this book I think I'm gonna let the twine kind of drape out a little bit and lay the scissors Maybe I'll display the scissors like this. So pretty. So to kind of go with the black lettering, I want to pull in a little bit more black on this side. So I have this black wire basket from Dollar General. I'm thinking I might want to do that here here and I was thinking to stack some ironstone plates and bowls in that that is one of my favorite ways to utilize black wire baskets I always pick up wire baskets if I come across them for a good price but if you stack like bowls in here or mugs it just looks much cuter than just stacking them on their own so we'll try that I'm gonna go grab a couple of my ironstone platters. a random restaurant wear mug let me go grab that as well I think that would look cute just placed right on top I got that for a dollar at an antique store the other day so let me go find that And something else I just want to say, just because this is in my sitting room or like my living room, you can still put dishes in your living room if you want to. Um, I used to be really weird about that. Like, why would I put platters or little bowls out here? But you know what? 
they look cute on these shelves so that's what I'm gonna do back over here I'm not loving that side like the two bottom shelves too much I gotta finagle with them a little bit um, I did get this basket off the of Facebook marketplace it's like a vintage wire basket and I know just what I'm gonna do with this I have been dying to share these little plant label wooden stakes with you guys so I have been shouting out my girl Carrie from Ginger Sweet Gatherings. She has a little booth at an antique store that I love to shop at and I ordered these from her. These are like little plant labels. They're wood and they have all different sayings. Lavender, parsley, rosemary, sage, and basil. They're so cute. Whoopsie. And I have been struggling to find a place to decorate them. So these will go perfectly with this vibe that I'm going with. And I think I'm going to stick them right in this wire basket so that you can kind of read them. Put the stakes all different ways. And since I have a basket here, I'll probably put this basket diagonal. Also, don't mind the mess. This portion of the shelving is hidden, so it's a bunch of storage underneath of here of games and random decor and candles. So that's some real life. It's just a storage area. But I have this sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. I showed this to you guys a couple months back and couldn't really find a spot to put it, but I really liked it, so I didn't want to return it. So perfect, perfect spot to stick it to go with my shelving. I'm gonna stick it right in there. And then hopefully you'll be able to still read it when I shut this door, but. Yes, very cute. And that takes up an entire shelf of stuff that I don't have to like fill with knickknacks. And then also from Hobby Lobby, some larger pieces to take up some space on the shelves. I got these two boxes. I got these on the same day that I bought that flower market sign, but these are really pretty. They have a nice like greenery look on them. They're magnetic in the front and they open up. I need to get better. Also, look at the inside. How cute is that? This is so my vibe. But I need to get better at printing out photos. And once I do that, I'll probably print a bunch at like CVS or something. I can store them in these boxes. So I have this larger one. These are in the spring shop at Hobby Lobby. They're so affordable. This was $10 and then 40% off. So I have this larger one. I think I'm just gonna stick it, honestly, right in here. And then I have the smaller one as well. And if I could fit it, I would probably stack them because I think that would look even cuter if you were to buy these and stack them on shelves as such. But mine aren't tall enough. Like, I don't have enough space here. So we'll just stick them next to each other. And then of course, when the doors are shut, you won't see all of that junk. So that's how it will look. Cute.
bought this little wooden candle holder at a small shop near me and then these are little battery operated candles so I'll probably stick these in there and then I can turn them on at night and it'll have like a nice faux lighting so I think I'll just stick this here and this is how the candles look so I'll probably put them on at night just to give it a little glow over here but I'll leave them on for the video actually I actually have a brass candle snuffer got this forever ago for like five dollars so that'll look cute with this even though they're fake you can just pretend <laughs> all right to this side i'm not really loving this little area so what can i do what can i do um i have like my vintage bell that i want to display I have a little bird cage. This is from Hobby Lobby. Never took the tags off of it. I have this little bird cage. But I don't want to do too much like wire stuff over here. This would look absolutely adorable if I had more flower frogs to display in here. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Look at that. There's an idea. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was $15.99 and then 50% off table decor the week that I got it. And you can put your flower frogs in there. It's cute for the summer. All right, maybe I'll leave that in there. And I will have to go back to the one antique store that I know has like a million and one flower frogs. That looks cute. Where the heck can I put this? I thrifted this wicker tray, so maybe I just want you guys to know because I try to be as raw and as real as I can on my channel. I try to be authentic and all of that good stuff. I mean, come on, I'm coming on here with like not even done hair. I only have mascara on. <laughs> but I'll have you know that I've been staring at the shelving unit for a solid 15 minutes now. Like what the heck do I put on the rest of these shelves? So, I am struggling. Yes, I am. So, you are not alone. Decorating is not always so easy. Just la di da put everything. Everything looks so beautiful. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> the amount of decor I have, what am I struggling with? I gotta have something somewhere that'll look right. <sighs> Time to go scavenge my house to see what else I can put on here. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I do have one of my Goodwill cloches. I'm going to stick that back here on this tray. So since I put like a bowl style here, I am going to move this to the other side just because it looks like too many bowls or something. So we'll move this to the other side. I grabbed my thrifted wooden cutting board. I'm going to just stick this down and I'm going to stick that bowl right on top of it. And then I actually had the same style stem of greenery that's 
up on the top shelf. So I'm gonna stick this draping out of the bowl. I think that'll kind of coordinate with the shelf above it, kind of go diagonally. So that will, that will look cool. My cats will probably have this out of the bowl in at least 30 minutes. <laughs> but that looks very cute for now. Okay, I like that. We're getting there. So I really want to use my watering can here. I actually really want to put up this watering can. I have not displayed this guy yet, but I don't want it to be too busy on this top shelf. And I want to keep up both of those pots because my snake plants do very well there and it keeps them away from the cats. So I can't really put them anywhere else in my house. So maybe I'll stick this on the back porch, but I want to try to incorporate this one to have like that garden vibe. So I might try to move some stuff around up here. grabbed a couple things from all over the house, went through a couple totes and found some things. So I have this cutting board. It was from Ross. It was $10.99. I'm going to try and see how we can style some knickknacks. I recently got this wood cutting board. I'm just going to pop that on the back. going to style this clock from Target and then I have this little berries container which is super summery and this Ikea plant that I got at the Goodwill so I'm just going to pop that in I think that will do for now so I'm going to show you one more thing that I got on Facebook Marketplace and then just do a quick little overview of decorating the top. But I found this, I think it's an antique dough box on Facebook Marketplace. It was from the same woman who sold me the sign, the baskets, and I am just obsessed with this. It fits perfectly on top of my Ikea shelving up here. So we're going to put that up top and then decorate around it. Y'all, this thing is so incredible. It's such a huge statement piece. And I am so glad it fits up top there because I already had it up there for a little bit just to see if it would fit. And I love having it up there. It is such a beautiful piece. This is a real plant. I actually got this at Walmart. It never dies. It does so well. I've had it for like three years. I can go weeks without watering this and it still forgives me. So I'm going to pop that on top of this wooden little bowl. Thank you. 
I've got my Hobby Lobby glass cloche that I scored for $11. And you guys, <laughs> I swore I would never buy one of these. I will film a little close up when I'm done decorating. But I swore I would never buy one of these. When people were buying them last summer and decorating with them, I was like, what is this weird obsession with these heads? But I came across this one at Home Goods, and she was the only one that didn't look creepy to me. Um, and I just thought this would put the final perfect touch on these shelves to kind of go with the vibe that I'm going for. So I picked her up. She is so heavy and she was only $24.99 at Home Goods. And then I've had these IKEA plants forever. They are a staple. I love them so much. And how beautiful does she look with this coming out of her top? It looks like this is her hair. I'm obsessed with this. So never say never, especially me, because here I am with all my antiques again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done with decorating with antiques, I think. Girl, who are you kidding? I think antiques are just like a part of me. I'm an old soul and I will always love them. And I am just done following the trends and I am going to be me and decorate the way I like. And that's with thrifted finds, antique store finds, neutral home decor, and really whatever the heck I like. You do not have to have a name for your style of the home decor style that you like. You don't need to be modern. You don't need to be a farmhouse. Just be whatever the heck you like. And that's my soapbox. So I'm gonna get down off my soapbox ladder and grab the rest of my decor. <laughs> so I'm thinking we need some ironstone pitchers on this side. What do we think? So I have this one that I, not thrifted, antiqued a couple months back. And then I have this one that I just got. Oh, this is so beautiful. This one is so beautiful. So instead of just popping them up there, sorry about my dog's nails. <laughs> instead of just popping them up there, I have this black wire basket. I recently got this at Home Goods. And this is what I'm saying. Instead of just like putting up a dish or something, layer it in something to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. So I think that I will put this up there and put the pictures in it. And you know, a platter layered in the back may look cute too. So let me go find one of them. All right, so I've got my gorgeous Homer Laughlin China platter. I think I'm gonna layer that in the back. Try to put this up here. Lottie May, this is gonna be hard. Is this even gonna fit? Okay, she fits. Scooch, scooch over mama, mama queen over here. And also the black over here kind of ties in with the black on that side. So just try to like balance your colors well when you're styling your shelves. Sorry guys, I know you're kind of far back and you're just like looking at my back, but I can't get my tripod to go this tall. So you're up on a table back behind me, but I will show you a close up of everything when we are finished. Please fit, please fit. Oh yes! Oh my God, I'm obsessed. 
this looks great. I'm thrilled. Oh my God, I'm losing a shoe. <laughs> Imagine finish my shelving and I just freaking collapse on the floor after falling. <laughs> like, ta -da! Guys, I'm obsessed with how that looks. All right. I do have one last piece of decor and it's this brass bell that I got at an antique store a few weeks back. And I just think the brass ties in really well. It matches my watering can, my candlestick. So I do want to find a little spot for this. And I'm thinking I'm going to plop it right next to my bowl here. Very cute. And also just because I never want you to watch my channel and think like your home is less than or my home is perfect featuring my cat tree we have these beautiful shelves and then we have a cat tree and these chairs that my cats are ripping apart that I moved out of the way for the video that need to go upstairs so beautiful and finished there's a mess behind me. So no, my house is not perfect. It never will be. So just wanted to show you a little bit of human and real life. <laughs> what would you do if I just started? I would cry, don't do that. <laughs> okay, Nick's helping me film the end of this video. <laughs> Say hi, Nick. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go over where everything is from. Hopefully this is like less than two minutes. So these lanterns are hearth in hand. The plant is Walmart. The wooden bowl is from like TJ Maxx. Those candlesticks are an antique store. These are both from Tractor Supply. These are Goodwill, antique store, thrift store, Goodwill. These are both from Hobby Lobby. The plant is also a Goodwill find. Goodwill, Goodwill, Home Goods, Target. Um, the basket is Dollar General. The bowls are antique finds. This is from Ross, this black wood cutting board. Um, this plant is Ikea, and this is from At Home, this little berry basket. My baskets here are from Target. And then everything up top is... Everything up top is thrifted. 
This is Facebook Marketplace. All the pots are thrifted. The wooden cutting boards back here are from Ginger Sweet Gathering, so I will link her shop down below. You can order online. This is Hobby Lobby. Oopsie. This is Target, thrifted, thrifted, small shop near me. This is Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. Um, the bread box up top or the dough box is from Facebook Marketplace. This cloche is Hobby Lobby. Home goods, plant is Ikea. Home goods basket, antique store finds for the <laughs> pictures. Bryce is angry with us. Um, the two pots are from Marshalls. Facebook Marketplace, this is from Target. This tray is from Kirkland's like I mentioned earlier. Everything else is either thrifted or from an antique store. These are, um, these bookends are from Marshalls, thrifted. Everything else here is thrifted, except this plant is from Michaels. And I think that's it. <laughs> okay, you can turn it off now, photographer. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, styling my shelves, and seeing that I kind of struggle with shelf styling as well. Decorating is something that does come very natural to me, and I enjoy it so much, but when I have an open concept like this, sometimes it can be a little bit challenging. So you are not alone if you also struggle with decorating time to time, but I hope that this video can give you some inspiration, some ideas for things to look for when you go thrifting, when you go antiquing, a way to curate a collection of items that all kind of blend well together and decorate your own space into something that you love. I love you all so much. I am so appreciative to have this little crew here on the internet. Like I always say, you guys make my day with the comments that you leave and the joy that you share with me here on my channel. Just can't thank you enough. So I will see you all in the next video. That will be on Friday. I have a collab with a sweet friend. I can't wait to share her channel with you. So I will see you guys again on Friday. Take care. Bye guys.